Hello and welcome back to Live Like You're Living. Today I'm going to give you a review on Piggy Paint. My granddaughter, who is four years old, always likes to get her nails painted. And I enjoy spending that time with her painting her nails, you know, and that's fun. Until I realized that a lot of the nail polishes, the majority of the nail polishes out here is, is toxic ingredients. So I stopped painting her nails. Um, just for, you know, the health sake of it. I don't want my granddaughter putting that type of thing in her mouth or nibbling on it or something with her food and accidentally ingesting something that's toxic. So I did some research and came across a nail polish called Piggy Paint that's supposed to be non-toxic. Another thing that's pretty cool is that it said that they were scented. So a plus plus especially for like a four-year-old so I went out and got some went to Target and I'll read to you what I found which is amazing I really I really here it is on the back of the box it says piggy paint scented nail polish is non-toxic cruelty free vegan and kid friendly this water-based formula dries to a hard finish and the fun filled scents last long after the polish is applied. And it's free of all harsh, smelly chemicals. And it goes on to tell you about, you know. Now, this is the only thing. I bought it from Target, right? This four pack cost me $9.99 or $10 plus tax, whatever you, how you want to view it. 10 bucks, roughly. So, the scents that I got with it, uh, at least for this, I'm not sure if there's any other variety available. But what I got is Grouchy Grape. Wacky watermelon, sassy strawberry, and bossy blueberry. So, uh, so you get four in a box. Let's open up the box. Let's see what's inside. My bad. I put a a plate here for a hard surface so the things don't roll away or whatever. But um, so this is what's interesting. For ten dollars, you get four bottles. That's fairly small. Okay, to the hand. I have small hands, but this is a fairly small bottle but you get four okay so let's try them out let's see if they're what they're promised to be scented let's see what the scents are okay so for the first scent we have um, what is this grouchy grape it doesn't smell bad it reminds me of a Almost like a Kool-Aid smell. <laughs> Almost like a Kool-Aid smell. Like a Kool-Aid grape smell. Strong on the grape side. Let me see. Mm, it's, a, it's your typical grape smell. So that's good. Grape gets a thumbs up. Okay, let's try Wacky Watermelon. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But I don't like it. Hold on, let's try it again. Hmm. I don't care for wacky watermelon. I don't know what that reminds me of, but it does not smell like any type of fruit that I'm familiar with. Let's try blueberry. Hmm. Now, blueberry has a pleasant smell. Not necessarily smell like blueberry, but it smells good. And here's Sassy Strawberry. Hmm, that reminds me of the baseball bat. Strawberry smell, you know, the old candy. So, see, great, what, what is it, Grouchy Grape? <laughs> I can't get the names right here, but they're fun names. Let's try Grouchy Grape. I'm gonna put them in order. So I'm gonna paint them one on each finger. So the first finger is going to be grouchy grape, second one is wacky watermelon, and third is sassy strawberry, and the fourth is blue, I'm sorry, bossy blueberry. So let's paint these on and see how it looks. Okay, so I kind of painted them backwards here, but here we go. I could focus better. So this one is the grouchy grape. Doesn't look bad. This one's the wacky watermelon. This one's sassy strawberry. And this one's the bossy blueberry. Now, 
they all smell pretty good I was not a fan of the wacky watermelon but I mean it's a fun smell it's not it's just not it doesn't smell like watermelon or anything else that I could come up with but um, it's not a horrible smell. it's not a stinky you know regular nail polish smell another thing this is just one coat so I mean it doesn't do too bad especially since you have such a limited amount to use one coat for a little girl's hand isn't you know that horrible you don't have to gloss it on but it looks very thick you know water base not bad I like it so hey I think that the piggy paint nail polish was a hit I love it my granddaughter loves it the smells are pretty good they're on point I you know because I'm not crazy about the watermelon one but three out of four isn't bad and the watermelon one is it's not horrible it's just unidentifiable how about that um, but everything else is great the price isn't horrible you get uh, what four for ten bucks that's two dollars and fifty cents a bottle for something that is non toxic this is an awesome purchase everybody I don't see why you would not purchase something like this for your, your for yourself for the little girlies in your life whatever your kiddos go ahead and purchase this this is a great buy I think it's fun I plan on having a ball with my granddaughter trying out the new smells and I, I you know I'm gonna look and see on their website if they have other smells I mean I think it's great I think they have gotten a lifetime customer I love it hey so that's the end of my review thumbs up to piggy paint everybody go get you some and you know what it's about time for me to tell you to do exactly what I'm doing and that's to keep on living like I'm living live like you're living have a great day. Bye-bye.